Welcome to Writing Wednesday, Episode 9. This week we continue as Jasmine surprises Marshall by accepting the challenge of saving a patient who has previously been deemed inoperable. They will have to put off their honeymoon, but it could be worth it. These are just some of the spoilers as I write my rough draft of The Wedding, Book 10 of the Ramsley Brothers series. Join me as we discuss chapter length and word counts this time. Welcome back to Writing Wednesday. Episode 9. Today, we are continuing the saga of the Ramsley Brothers series, book 10, called The Wedding. This one I'm hoping to get released this year. Maybe this summer. The way we're going, it could happen. So, we are talking about Marshall and Jasmine. In a continuation of last week's scene, they're still discussing patient care of a particular individual who is anonymous and has a heart condition, but he also has super thin veins, which makes him pretty much impossible to operate on. So let's get down to reading our story. True, admitted Marshall. Wouldn't it be worth the risk, though? The only other option is to let him die. So here you'll notice that I'm going back and I'm adding a bit more of a reaction to Marshall. And the reason I'm doing that is because I want him to be um, very, I wouldn't say over-enthusiastic or determined, but I want him to be very involved with this. I want him to be very invested. Invested is a great word. I want him to be very invested in this particular surgery, not because per se he even knows the guy or because it's his patient or because he wants, you know, he just wants this to happen because of the other situation that has happened in his life that he has no control over. So he might not have been able to save the last person, which is what he just came home from the hospital from, but he can save this person. And if you're paying attention, you'll notice over my left shoulder, there's a doggy who was looking at the screen just a moment ago. Now, Jasmine understands his perspective because she's been talking to him for a long time. They've been friends for a long time. They've gotten to know each other. And she also realizes that, you know, he is over invested in this because of the circumstances going on currently in his life. So she responds with, sometimes it is their time, softly stated Jasmine. She stood standing before Marshall and putting her hands in his. Sometimes we have to let people go. And she's not talking about this patient. She's talking about Marshall's actual, um, well, what's what just happened when he came home from the hospital just before this particular scene. So she's she's kind of acknowledging what has currently happened within the family and within his life right there. Oh, we did put that in there. Huh, well, I guess, spoiler alert, it's there. Marshall sighed. Now you are talking about my dad. So, spoiler alert, it was James Ramsley who passed away during this particular book. My goodness, we're just popping off people left, right, and center. It is unfortunate, but it is necessary. Um, we'll have to see what all comes of that. Maybe, acknowledged Jasmine. Are you sure you aren't too invested in this case? Because you wish you could have changed your father's outcome. Perhaps, admitted Marshall. You should get ready for bed, advised Jasmine, giving his hands a squeeze. I'm going to finish the letter. So poor Marshall is not going to get his way. And, uh... He nods, his shoulders slumping a little. He gave Jasmine a quick kiss before heading to the washroom. It didn't take long to go through his nightly routine. Wearing far more comfortable pajama bottoms and a simple t-shirt, Marshall rejoined Jasmine. He pulled back the covers, taking a couple of pillows, oh sorry, tossing, tossing a couple of pillows to the chair. Because that seems very domestic and a thing to do. So yes, Irrelevant little detail, and yet, there it is. And it makes the story more full. And yes, I probably should put a lot more details into my stories, but I'm not 
not overly a detailed writer. I find I struggle with that a bit. Again, everybody has their little things that they are working on to create a better, more fuller storytelling ability. What about the same stuff you use to patch holes in the hearts of infants? Marshall, sighed Jasmine, looking up at him from her side of the bed, where she was comfortably sitting, blankets up to her waist and tablet in hand. They are sterile, bond with organs with few complications, offered Marshall. The bed dipped under his weight as he sat down. Just a thought. He's not going to give this up. He's the type of person who doesn't give up things. Marshall arranged the pillow behind him and leaned back against the headboard. He watched as Jasmine typed in a few last words for her email. "'Read it over and see what you think,' said Jasmine, giving him the tablet. Marshall reluctantly took the tablet. He started reading aloud. "'Dear Sir, please be advised I will require updated scans to fully evaluate your condition.' After careful consideration, I would like to offer a potential solution. Although extremely risky, I would like to. Be surprised. Marshall lowered the tablet and looked at Jasmine in awe. You are going to try it. Well, yes, of course she is. I mean, that's how, how else would we get this little thing to be even remotely relevant if she wasn't going to try to do the surgery, at least. So, of course, she's going to. This means that uh, they're going to have to stay a little bit longer in America, which kind of puts a ding in their plans to go back to her homeland right away. But that's okay. I wanted them to stick around because I didn't feel their story was quite complete yet, per se. Although, for the most part, they have come together very, very nicely. And um, it's been fun. They haven't had too much conflict, these two, which is interesting. So it might be more than interesting to have them have their own book and have some conflict in it. Or maybe they'll just be background characters who constantly come back and say hi, rather like Max does. Every single book <laughs> is my character glue. If you're going to have an over arcing series, it can be a good idea to have some character who is the glue, such as Max is, who keeps reappearing and playing a minor role in each and every book. Yep, he wasn't supposed to, but he does. He keeps just coming back. Anyhow, in a perfect world, you will give me a surgical thing and privileges at mercy. Plus, we would have to skip the honeymoon and do the surgery if the patient is a candidate, and if he can be here within the week, warned Jasmine. So, my little there is a way to find out, I'm going to nix that. And you can see, once again, instead of I would like to, I recommend. You know, things like that, we just make them a little bit nicer. And we have to put in our double quotes. So... We did get rid of the there is a way to find out because I didn't feel like the um, the scene was ending on that very well. And I thought about revealing right then and there who it was. And then I thought, why not just foreshadow it and let the reader know through the foreshadowing, through the other scenes, with the other characters, with other things going on in the background. And they can go, oh yeah, I know it's so-and-so. And then when it does happen and we know that it's so-and-so, they can be like, yes, I knew it all along, right? I mean, it's mildly obvious. So if you didn't know it all along, well, you might want to work on your deduction skills <laughs> once you read the book. But uh, overall, we're just trying to, you know, let the readers connect the dots once in a while rather than spelling it out. So that's something else that makes it more enjoyable for somebody who's reading it. Uh, do, 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 do. We cannot delay going home any further than that. If he heals and qualifies for a heart transplant, it will have to be another surgeon who does that surgery. Or they could come back for, you know, a small vacation and be involved in it. I'm sure they would enjoy that. But we'll see. That's later down the road in another book, quite probably. So, 
Marshall's going to give the prerequisite I love you because after all it is a romance book and that's part of the um the joys of these types of books. As long as you aren't disappointed, I would be happy to watch you do surgery instead of going on a honeymoon. Of course, yes, they're all things doctors. They're quite enjoying it. Then, please press send, grinned Jasmine. So, here's where I was like, do I continue it? Do I not? Where am I going with this? And I think uh, what I did in the end was just basically cut it off after then please press send, grinned Jasmine. Uh, we'll see during the editing process if I decide to put anything further on it or if we're happy with that ending to the chapter or to the uh, segment of the chapter because I don't think that this is a whole 3,500 words. Sorry, 35,000. Yeah, good luck. It's not a full 3,500 words or approximately therein. I think it's more around the 1,500 mark, which means that it could make a nice half chapter if I can get another sort of half chapter piece there as well. And as you see right here, I am highlighting my text and dragging my mouse along just to find out exactly how many words we actually have here. It's always a good idea to kind of keep an eye on your word counts and think about how you want to stag your chapters. Now obviously you're not always going to be right on the goal for each chapter. But you can get close. Uh, you can always add in more description. You can take away a description. And sometimes, yes, chapters do lag long or they are shorter, depending what the characters are involved in and what's going happening. And also, you can split chapters up if you really have to. You know, have a, you know, if it's a superbly long chapter, can it be split into two chapters? Things like that. So yes, we confirmed it's about 1,500 words, 1,534 from the looks of it, and thus it is far too small to be a chapter on its own, but it, the scene does seem complete. I might add some detail, I might um, add a little bit more to the ending, but beyond that, it does seem that's as far as we're going to go, and it might segue into the Henry scene right below, depending on what happens. I would like to thank you for watching this video and I hope that you enjoyed it. Please consider subscribing, liking, sharing, or clicking the bell for future videos. All of these things are free for you to do and really help me with the algorithms to grow this channel and to grow my platform. Remember, you can find my audiobooks on YouTube or my ebooks and paperbacks on Amazon. I also have books in the Kindle Unlimited program. So happy listening and happy reading.